So first off, I want to do a little shout out to Haley. She's the one that wanted me to do this video sooner than I planned. So what's up, girl? Today I'm going to do a comparison between two concealers, the famous Tarte Shape Tape and then the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I never used these two concealers before, so I'm kind of excited. Hopefully these are similar shades because I bought these at two separate times. I do like a bright under eye. A lot of people are saying that this is supposed to be a dupe for this guy, so I'm here to find that out. These are the two concealers side by side. For Makeup Revolution, you get 0.14 ounces or 4 grams. I bought this from Ulta and this is around $7. Usually there's a sale. There's actually a sale going on right now for $4.90, so keep that in mind. And just by looking at Ulta's website, this comes in 24 shades. It looks like they got a great color selection. You got from super light to very dark. And they have a lot of different undertones from pink, neutral to yellow. And I got mine in the color C6. For Tarte Shape Tape, you get 30 shades. Color selection goes actually deeper than Make a Revolution, which is awesome. Tarte Shape Tape comes in 0 .3381 fluid ounces. Great. Which is more than double. And this retails for $27. They're both supposed to be very high coverage, so let's find out if they're the same. So this is my bare face. All I have is moisturizer and primer on. I got some circlage going on there. I don't know. But either way, I like to have a bright under eye. So I'm going to apply a foundation that I already know and love. So this is Maybelline Fit Me. This is the matte and poreless one. I actually love both of them, the dewy and the matte. I usually like to mix them. Just keep it things simple. So you're going to get a giant dofa applicator. I'm gonna apply this like I would like any other concealer. So hopefully I don't overdo it. Okay, so that glided on so nice. This is like taking like no effort to blend at all. So if this doesn't crease, that'd be great. In person, it doesn't seem that full of a coverage. I can still see a little bit of darkness peeking through. So I'm gonna put in another layer. But on camera, it looks so bright, right? Okay. <laughs> So instead of just blending it all over here, I'm just going to focus right here because, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of loving this concealer. It's not settling into my fine lines yet, so hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> I gotta set that. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know if this is my shade. Like, that's the only downside about having, like, so many shades is that it's so overwhelming <laughs> to pick which one's my right shade. But anyways, I got mine in the color Light Neutral. So I just did quick little swatches in the store, so hopefully this will work out and not look too crazy. But it's it's very it's a similar applicator to Make a Revolution. Make a Revolution in Tarte. I'm gonna try to put the same amount on this side. I'm gonna turn the sponge and use this side. I'm immediately seeing more coverage from the Tarte shape tape. And how's the color looking? Whoa. Okay, camera makes it look so different. But anyways, uh, this one's taking a little bit more effort to blend. However, the coverage seems a lot more on this one. This one seems to be drying out a lot faster than the Makeup Revolution. Tarte definitely dried down a lot faster, has more coverage. This one feels more hydrating and it is buildable coverage um, for the Makeup Revolution. But this one, you don't need that much. I feel like Make Your Revelation is still a great option if you don't need that much coverage or just need a little bit of brightening under eye, you could get by with this. But if you want like that full glam or a lot of coverage, I'm liking the tart side a lot better. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my finished look. Um, it's a little late, it's 2.48. I don't know if you could tell that. But it's 2.48 p.m. So I'm gonna do some check-ins. I've been probably wearing this for maybe an hour. I forgot to look at the time, but let's just say I put this all on my face at two o'clock. I was looking at different lighting and they pretty much look the same. <laughs> uh, but they're looking great under the eyes. So I'm gonna do in some check-ins throughout the day. I don't know how long I'm gonna wear this because I don't usually like wearing makeup on my days off. So I'll be back soon. Okay, so I got some different lighting. Here's the concealer. They both kind of look the same, if I'm being honest. Um, again, Here's a little close-up. Don't mind all this glitter, but this is the Tarte, and then this one is the um, Makeup Revolution. So this one is a little bit more coverage than this one. So, yeah, let's just see how it holds up, though. 
So it's pretty much five o'clock. So I've been wearing this for about three hours. I keep looking in the mirror and I do feel like they are very similar. However, you can see right here, this is the uh, Makeup Revolution. You can see a little bit of the darkness peeking through and this one looks fine. And this, I don't know if you could tell. Let me, let me kind of zoom in, hello. <laughs> but anyways, um, I got a little bit of creasing on both eyes. Um, this one is a little bit more. I don't know if you can see that. I have a little bit here. Uh, I'm just gonna blend that in. And here. However, that's pretty much all concealers. So far, I think the Tarte is winning. All right, you guys, so I'm at my final check-in. It is currently 7.03. I've been wearing this for about five hours. I'm gonna take off my makeup now because I want to go to the gym and I do not like working out with makeup on. This one's the Makeup Revolution. This one's the Tarte. They pretty much look very identical. They both kind of settled into fine lines just a little bit, but it's nothing crazy. Like I've had worse concealers. I like the Makeup Revolution probably for like every day. It's very easy to blend. I did have to do two coats of this and then this one is good for like glam makeup i'm sure or like if you have really dark under eye circles this one the tarts would be really great this one was a little bit harder to blend you kind of have to work a little bit faster with the tart shape tape because it does dry down a little bit faster than uh, this one i did have to build this one up i did two layers this one i only did one so so if you guys like that video, please give it a thumbs up and it would totally help me a lot. I am done for the night. Thank you Haley for basically pushing me to get this video out there. Um, it hasn't been three months yet. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. I, I actually want to try it one more time without foundation. I just took off my makeup. Hello. <laughs> um, so I got a little bit of darkness from the eyeliner, but I'm going to do again this with Tarte Shape Tape and this with yeah. There's no makeup. I'm gonna wash this real quick. Ooh, make a revolution. About the same amount. Hmm. You guys, I'm so beat. These are really almost identical. Interesting. But again, this one was still a lot easier to blend. This one was. This one. I'm gonna go on with the second coat. Yeah, this one is definitely a lot thicker. It has a little bit more tackiness to it. This one blends effortlessly, but honestly, they pretty much look the same. All in all, is this a dupe to the Tarte? I feel like it's very similar, but I'll let you guys decide. I just wanted to do that real quick. I was just so curious. Okay, I'm going to go now. <laughs> Bye.